In this video, I'm gonna bring you inside of a property we just acquired. We just were able to go inside. The seller just moved out, we bought it. He didn't wanna move out, it was a long story, but I don't, I'm not gonna get into that. But I wanna share with you what the condition of these houses are when we first buy them, what repairs we're going to do to the property, and we're gonna go over the numbers so you can see purchase price, rental price, what we're gonna sell it for, and all that stuff. And last, I wanna share with you what is gonna be our exit strategy. How are we gonna get out of it? Are we gonna hold it, travel nurse, short-term rental, or just flip it and get out of it? All right, let's do it. All right, class, it's Chris Haskins with the realestateroundup.com. My mission and ministry is to raise your financial literacy through real estate investing and entrepreneurship. I want to thank my business partner right here, Ron, for working with us today. Thank you, Ron. You're welcome, sir. Ron's always behind the camera. You probably will never see his face, but we're going to work on him to do that, okay? 2022 goals, right? You're good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so round up, I want you to see this neighborhood. Ron, give them a nice pan, twirl it around as I walk here. The, the street is good. What, is this a private street, Ron? Or It's a private street. It is private. Private street, So the street, city yes. doesn't, doesn't take care of the HOA is going to take care of this. Correct. Got you. So you can see we have pride of ownership. People are taking care of their yards. Roof's good there. Windows are looking good here. The grass is fine. You got cars, uh, everyday ordinary cars. Now, what I did notice here, and I want to ask Ron, what's your opinion on the houses being a little close together here? They are close together. I think the benefit is people who don't like maintaining yards. It's yeah. got a lot of yard work for a, a beginning couple or first time homeowners or maybe even elderly uh, you know older couple as well yeah i think you're right i think people are getting away from doing a lot of yard work including myself you got a big old yard don't you i want to get away from it actually <laughs> right. i'm over it all right let's go inside take a look at what we're going to do and the condition of it uh, as we why we, when we bought it oh yeah let's go back to the office and go over the numbers real quick so you can see the purchase price and all the stuff all the numbers. So let's go over the numbers together so you can kind of see how we determined what our offer was going to be and what we kind of saw before we bought this deal. Now remember, Ron walked through this property when the guy was still living in there. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that we're seeing now that you're, that you're getting ready to see that we didn't see, right? All the, uh, the furniture and clutter was in there covers up a lot of mess. So let's go over the numbers so you know exactly how to evaluate your next deal. And we are deciding we're gonna go ahead and keep this property for a flip. We're gonna fix it up and sell it at fair market value, at, 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 uh, at full market value, right? So the ARV on this one was 350 and you got to know, you got to know what ARV is, after repaired value. That simply means what we can sell it for. You gotta know it. The purchase price of what we bought it for was two hundred and forty-five thousand. So I think I borrowed. I think I borrowed uh, two hundred thousand dollars on this deal. We brought. We maybe brought the thirty. We brought the rest. I borrowed, I borrowed like two hundred k from private lenders. Remember, we do not use banks, right? We borrow money from ordinary moms and pas to finance our real estate deals, right? And you can do the same. It's going to take a different mindset, a mindset shift. But I'm not gonna, if you wanna learn more about private money, let's go ahead and do that. Go to that video right there. That video is gonna explain how private money works and how it differs from hard money, okay? So the reno, the reno on this one, what we thought, right? Remember, you can only, when you make an offer on a property, you don't have all the answers because you don't know what's behind the walls. So this is what we thought it was gonna cost us going in, right? So what this reno is, is going to consist of Kitchen 3,000, roof 6,000, HVAC, the HVAC unit was bad, 5K, paint 3K, two bathrooms. Luckily, we're gonna try to salvage those tubs. And let me rewind, the kitchen here, that's gonna be keeping the existing cabinets. Two baths, 4,000, flooring five, termite, there's some termite damage in the garage there, plumbing and electrical fixtures 4K, and appliances 1K. I'm gonna give you a tip. Do not install refrigerators when you're doing these flips, okay? Leave that for a bargaining tool when you go to resell it. If you put the refrigerator in there from the top, then the buyer already, they're already calculating that in their offer. 
Say for instance, let me give you an example. If you're selling a property for 200,000, right? Somebody makes you an offer with no refrigerator. They may just take the house for 200,000, no fridge, right? But if you're selling it for 200 and then they make an offer for 195, right? And they want to say, look, we want a refrigerator. You can charge them another thousand or 2000 to put that refrigerator in there. That is going to be, that's going to cost you a thumbs up. Hit that like button down there. And if I'm pouring into you roundup as we pass, my real estate roundup homies, we passed 94,000 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you for helping me extend my commitment to raising your financial literacy. Oh man, I love you. Thank you. Okay. So hard costs quickly, hard costs on this one are going to be roughly 21,000. What are hard costs? Realtor fees. Generally speaking, realtor fees are 6%, right? So that's 21,000, but I'm going to give you another tip. What we use is something called a flat fee listing broker. You're going to have to use a broker. That way you can cut that realtor fee in half and just pay 3%. You could pay 3% to the realtor. So out of this, we're only going to be paying $10,000 in realtor fees. That's going to save you a ton of money on the resale. And it, al it, it allows us a little cushion for our profits, right? So the interest we're paying about 5,000 maintenance. That's going to be upkeep. People may have to cut the grass, utilities, just keeping the place clean after we, after we, uh, list it for sale. Taxes and insurance, 2,000 closing costs. We've got to pay closing costs to buy it and to sell it. Three, three grand in this crazy market we're in right now, Roundup. We ain't paying no closing costs for the buyer. Now, years ago, I was paying my closing costs and the buyer's closing costs. Uh-uh. Won't do that no more, right? We're done with that. So all that right there, it rounds up to be about 21,000 in, in, in fees, okay? All right, so you're going to take your ARV, what it's worth, Back out your purchase price, your reno, and your hard costs, which will give you your profit. And I didn't put the profit down there. Let's go ahead and put that. That's roughly 350 there. That's roughly, okay, that's 50K. All right, so we're looking at about a 50K profit. And then now all this is approximate. All these numbers here, approximately 34. All my hard costs, approximately 21. It could go up or down. That's just the nature of real estate, okay? So I hope you're understanding how we make offers so we can help you get out there and make your next offer on your house, okay? Let's go inside of this property. You know what, Ron? I forgot to ask you about the exterior. What are we doing out here? What are, it looks like we got some rotten wood going on over here. Yeah, so the exterior, we have a little wood rot around the garage door. What's this from? Good uh, I think it's water damage. If we look up, you will see the corner where the window is. Come on over. Oh, you got it up there? Oh, I see. Yes, I think You can see had... it coming. Come over here, Ron. You can look right through the soffit there, right up through the ceiling. Yeah, so I think, um, yeah, roof? so the roof, actually, the sheathing is missing and shingles are missing. Mm -hmm. So I think it just Rotted over time. Yeah, right over time, came down over the garage door. Gotcha. So new roof. What's the number on that, Ron? Six grand? Six grand, yes. To round up, I want you to know our roofs went from four grand to 4,500, 5,000, 55. They've been going up and up and up. Building materials are going up super high. So when we first walk in, what are you going to call? This is our dining room slash living room? Yep, dining space. Living space, dining space. Combination of both. All right, so the windows are good here, Ron? Yep. This old chandelier has to go. How about our flooring? What are we thinking about doing here, brother? Uh, in the kitchen. So basically, we're going to pull LVP from the entry door all the way to the kitchen. Everything is going to be luxury vinyl plank. All through the floor? Throughout, throughout the, the first floor. Gotcha, yes. gotcha. All right, so round up. Uh, the floor here will be one thing. You can see here, now we have carpet going to this cheap linoleum. No, laminate. Yeah, it's a, a cheap laminate they installed over at this, some point. Yeah, this is the laminate I'm used to. Yeah. This stuff here is so cheap. Carpet, these people were living in this thing. I mean, if you could, the carpet, you can tell it's just, whew. Yeah, house smells. So give him a nice pan here, Ron. We're going to, what are we thinking? What happened to the appliances? Did he take them? <clears throat> he took the appliances. Okay. So which was in the contract for him not to take them out, but I didn't. Really? Yeah. So, oh, well. yeah, it happens sometimes. Roundup, 
things happen. You got to just bounce back. We probably would not have kept them. We, 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 we probably have been would a, not have kept them. No. It's the second time they did this like that, right? And then the last house we did, the people said they were going to. It's true. The first, the last house we would have kept those appliances, but this one, they, I think they were white. Gotcha. So we didn't, we weren't going to keep them anyway. Man, took the dishwasher. Good it Lord. took some time to, to disassemble it. So. I see that. <laughs> Not that we would have used it. But what do you think you hear, Ron? This is nasty. Now listen, guys. People were living in this thing with this nasty like this. You think we'll be able to keep some of this stuff, Ron? Or you think, what, in your opinion, what are you thinking? So in my opinion, at least the base cabinet needs to go. So we can probably replace the base cabinet itself. Okay, replace this one. Yep. Or we can try to repair it if we can. If we can. Our first goal is to repair it. This if one. we can't repair it, we'll replace the kitchen base, the mm -hmm. sink, I'm sorry, the sink base. Gotcha. And just match up the door fronts. That ain't too bad. On everything. Yeah, this is the worst one here. Yeah, it's all the other ones one. are good. Yeah. Other ones are good to go. Yeah. Do so, the faces. Yeah, replace the faces, replace that sink base, and match the faces up to make everything look uniform. Gotcha. You can rest it on the ground if you want to give you a nice steady shot. Right, so round up, we, I just noticed this. Did you notice that the faces are already different, Ron, before? I did not, know. So if you no. see, this is a straight panel here, arch there. These are arches, arches too, so it doesn't really matter if the faces are different. People won't even notice it. I didn't. Yeah. All right. So we got, oh man, look at this. We can keep this, Ron. Oh, that's good. Nothing wrong with that. I never kept a light fixture before. Well, have we ever kept light fixtures? We have. Oh, we have? Okay, yeah. I didn't know that. Last house, we kept some light fixtures. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we're keeping that. We just have to do flooring and painting here, correct? Flooring and paint, yep. That's it. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> nah, garage is a garage. So we're going to put that luxury vinyl plank in here? Yep, throughout, throughout the entire first floor, luxury LVP. You want to give him a shot in there? Yeah, the floor is rotting in this one. What's that from, just moisture? Toilet leaking. They probably have a um, bad flange or under the bottom. Yep, mm -hmm. wax ring bad yeah, or something. That. But they okay. didn't um, do a good job of maintaining the house over the years. Yeah, they didn't. Give me a look at that vanity and that mirror. We're gonna keep all that stuff, y'all. Very rarely do we get to keep that stuff, but we will today. Let's go upstairs see what we got. Look at this, y'all. These people just, can you imagine coming down here and hitting this? You could fall and break your leg. Yeah, you probably, you probably fell at some point, honestly. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Come on upstairs. <clears throat> I wish, I tried to get in here before the guy moved out, but couldn't get inside. So the bathroom, this is our communal bathroom. This one is, you can see, round up, cabinets, bustito. So, Ron, you thinking we got to get rid of this whole thing, or? Yeah, we can't save any of this in this bathroom. Just Tops and cabinets and yeah. vanities both need to go. Both vanities, okay. How about this tub right here, Ron? Refer resurface the tub, so we should be able to salvage the tub. Okay. Now, how do I get a red tub, Ron? What makes this tub go from tan to red? They probably had some kind of a towel or something or some kind of cleaning shampoo ball or something. Mm -hmm. I get it. You got it. Look at this, you know. This is not. Lord have mercy. Yeah, something staying it over time, so. But not that we can't fix. We can fix it. So this floor here, check out this cabinet. This bus Tito, you know. Sheesh, Louise. And will we do a new toilet, Ron? Toilet looks fine to me. We keep this toilet? Yep. All right, cool. There you go. So this, what? We got 1,500 in here? Four, to resurface two, the tub is about four. four. New top, vanity. What be? About $1,000 in the bathroom. Probably flooring paint. Yeah, so I, I kind of put the flooring number together. For, for entire, the whole house? For the, for the entire house, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. We got lucky with this, y'all. Brand new hot water heater. But I want y'all to see, look at this. Look at this floor. I mean, <clears> just imagine living in here, Roundup. It's just, give them a nice pan of that floor, Ron, so they can see the condition. So when you looked at this, Ron, because Ron is a guy, he's the eyes and the energy behind when we buy them. No doubt you didn't see this nasty because of the stuff that was in yeah, there. Yeah, the house is pretty full. So you can't really get a good visual of how bad the flooring was and mm -hmm. how bad everything was in the house because they just have so much stuff in here. 
can't even see it. So this is our primary bedroom. It's actually really big. It's a nice size bedroom. Nice yeah. layout, nice flow. Yeah, it really is cool. So you, you can put a bed here, a little working station over there. I like it. Yeah, so the wife actually had an office in this space. Yeah, I like and, it. And um, the, the, the bed was somewhere in this area. Back yeah, there. I see it. Four windows. Yeah. Looks like we got a patch right here. Two cat, two closets. And this is our primary bedroom. That's another nasty one, Ron. What do you think we're gonna have to do in here, brother? So we should be able to salvage those vanities and those tops. Gotcha. Okay. We're gonna do our best to keep these, y'all. And pretty much just regrout the towel, resurface the tubs, and we should be able to. Got some loose, missing stuff. Yeah. Loose stuff there, too. Man, this is a nice shower, yo. Yeah, you didn't do any. Thank nice you shower. Can you imagine not taking care of this? If you got a house like this, you better take care of it. There you go, brother. Hey, well, I'll give him a pan from over there so you can see this tub. It doesn't even look like this has been used in a long time. It's extremely clean compared to the rest of the house. Yeah. You think? Yeah, people don't use it use jacuzzi tubs too often. You think it works? Okay. It works. It does, it works. So we shall see. Flooring and everything. All right. Yes, yeah, so this needs floor and paint. Did you give a shot of the floor? Looks like the towels are coming yeah. loose. Look at the stick. Towel. Cheap. Cheap. Cheap stuff. Cheap stuff, yeah. What are we going to do in here, Ron? Floor and paint. We I'm talking about on the floor. LVP. Oh, okay. And this would be carpet in the bedroom? Yep. Sweet. All right, round up. So listen, if you want to sell us a house, we are in the Hampton Roads area. We buy property. We do joint ventures with other people. And if you're looking for any type of financing, there's a link in the video description below for that also. Feel free to reach out to us if you have a house that you just want to get rid of. If you're behind the payments or you inherited a property or just a property that you're looking to sell. Uh, please get in touch with us once again. Our website is in the link uh, in the video description as well. Subscribe to the channel, hit that uh, bell, like this content, and share with anybody else that you think is interested in becoming a real estate investor. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.